in the networking industry. And prior to this, I had a very successful real estate practice, so we match real estate practice, and had a construction company. And um, you know, you know, I, I had success, and I think that was preparing me for the networking industry. And I found out about the networking industry in the early '90s and um, got involved with the networking industry and treated it just like I did my other businesses. I spent as much time and energy with it as I did with my other businesses. And I treated it like a million dollars, like I had a million dollars invested in it like I did with my other businesses. And that's why we grew so fast and, and excelled so fast. And I think the other big reason was the fact that we took our eyes off of ourselves and put them on many other people and helped other people achieve the things that they wanted in life. And in return, it gave us back things that we wanted in life. And um, I remember sitting across the table from, at the time, my mentor, and him looking at me, and I hated his guts when I first met him. Uh, the guy that had introduced me to my last company, I hated his guts when I met him because he was the only one that had the guts to tell me what I needed to hear. And uh, yeah, I was already a successful businessman, I had a commercial on TV, drove the nice cars, lived in a decent house. And he was the only one. He sat back there, a little skinny guy with a cigarette in his mouth. And, you know what, Doyle? You know, here's what your problem is. Your eyes are on you. You're always worried about the almighty pocketbook. And what you should do is take your eyes off of you and put them on some other people and help some other people get what they want and you'll get what you want. You'll grow faster in this business. And boy, it took everything coming from a physical background that I came from in sports. So it took everything to keep me from coming across the table and wringing his little neck, you know? <laughs> and I walked out and I sat in my car and I sat there and I said, go back. You know, I had two, you know, we all had two voices that talked to us. You know, one voice is the negative voice that says, go back in there and put a woman on him that Ripley wouldn't even believe. <laughs> And the other little voice was whispering, whispering to me, what if he's correct? What if he's right? What if everything he told you would give you all the things that you were preparing yourself through the past businesses you have to have great, greater things in your life? Prior to my real estate practice, uh, I was involved in, in sports and worked my way all the way up to the professional ranks of football, blew my knees out, and I saw my dreams go down the tubes, and I was homeless. And uh, I had met a gentleman, uh, I broke back into an old house that I had, that I lived in, that was foreclosed on, and a realtor found me living there. And um, I remember sitting on the floor with him in, in, in my house, and him saying to me, you know, what are your dreams, what are your goals? And I said, yeah, I know I'm at the lowest point in my life right now. I know I'm being prepared. Uh, you know, I, I know I'm being prepared for greatness, because if you can't handle adversity, you'll never handle greatness. And some of you are sitting here, and you're going through some adversity right now. And maybe the business has been growing as fast as it should be for you. And you're being prepared. You're being prepared for greatness. And I think we've gotten rid of some of the past duds that have left our company so we can expose the studs. Yeah. 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 I saw that with my last company. And we've had the honor and the privilege over 22 years to be very successful with that last company. And we owned homes all over Pennsylvania. We had two big big homes in Pennsylvania. We had a, a home that we built in the Turks and Caicos Islands. And we were able to travel around the world and do a lot of things that we could never do uh, had it not been for the networking industry to give us the time and the money to do it. And uh, you know, I, I heard Andrea talking about the things that she did with her kids. And one thing that sticks out with me, because we, when we built the networking industry, my son was five, my daughter was one. And I never spent time with them before. I used to work 80 hours a week, and my special time with my kids is when my wife would book a, an appointment with my secretary to bring my kids into my office to sit around my conference table to have a picnic while I was on the phone. And that was my special time with my kids growing up, you know, growing up. And having success in the networking industry, I was able to come home, bring my wife home from work. I hated my wife working for another man. I hated my wife waking up every morning, getting herself dressed up, to look good for another man, and that bothered me. Okay? And that bothered me, and even to this day, I would not, never allow her to ever do that ever again. And that's why a lot of you men are here today, and that's why you are men today, because I think you feel the same way I do. But the biggest thing that sticks out for me with my kids is when I used to go in and have lunch with my son once a week. And when he was in third grade, I remember sitting around the little tables with him, in his elementary school, and all his little buddies were sitting there, and I remember his one buddy said to him, he said, Zach, how comes your dad doesn't have a job? And my son looked at him, and he said, my dad doesn't have a job because my dad has a dream. Wow. You see? And 
my hat's off to every one of you because every one of you are here today because you have a dream. You have a why, something inside of you. And it might not be a monetary thing, it might not be a material thing. There's something inside of you that's, that's eating at you right now. Whatever it is, you need to figure out what that is. And we're going to talk a little bit today about systems and putting systems in place.